Lowell, I have enjoyed very much the friendships that I have formed through the sheriff's group. It's been encouraging to see men and women rising up and articulating what the Constitution says, and in particular, the Second Amendment. It kind of alarms certain uh, sectors of our society when they hear uh, the Second Amendment put forth in what was intended, and um, sometimes you get to see liberal heads explode when you do that. Uh, it's one of the fringe benefits of my job. Um, <laughs> Rolling Stone recently had several explosions occur in their editorial offices. They uh, cited me for saying that the real purpose of the Second Amendment was not um, sport, it was not even really self-defense, but defense of the nation against tyranny. And oh my, that really set them off. That was outrageous. That. Uh, particularly alarmed Representative uh, Maloney from Brooklyn. Um, she uh, went off on a hizzy fit and reported me to the Capitol Hill police and wanted me investigated. And uh, happily, they came back with a conclusion that there was no articulable threat, and, uh, which I think is a nice way of saying, you're nuts, lady, shut up. <laughs> so. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, they get it. Sometimes maybe people on our own side don't get it, and we ought to make sure they get it more often. Um, I was very encouraged when the standoff occurred at the Bundy Ranch, and there was such a magnificent, spontaneous outpouring, uh, using the new media to communicate uh, to the armed American that the government's out of control, come and help. And people did. Uh, I was on my way out, as uh, Stuart Rhodes can attest, to a news conference that was going to be held on a Monday. And he called me on a Saturday, as I remember, uh, saying, well, it's off. Uh, the government's capitulated. That's what the Second Amendment is all about. And it was in full display at the Bundy Ranch. And we've been, uh, one of the, um, Members of Gun Owners of America is Sheriff Brad Rogers of Elkhart County, Indiana. Uh, this guy is um, uh, a true uh, patriot. He was approached by a farmer in his district, and the farmer said, I'm, I'm afraid I am close to losing my dairy equipment. I produce raw milk. The FDA has a real conniption fit about raw milk, and I'm in court, federal court, and I'm afraid they're going to confiscate my equipment. So he went out and inspected the farm, and confident that he wasn't buying a little house of horrors, went back to his office and emailed the head attorney at the FDA and said, if you all put another foot on that farmer's property, I'll arrest you. And she wrote back and said, well, if you do that, we'll arrest you. And in so many words, uh, Brad Rogers said, game on. And that's been, I think, about two and a half years ago. So the game is kind of in slow-mo, thanks to a constitutional sheriff. Yeah. All right, there he is. And I'll just close with uh, pointing to another one of these sheriffs. Uh, Benny House is the sheriff of Otero County in New Mexico on, on the border. And his um, district has a lot of national forests which is kind of a, a um, constitutional impossibility, but nevertheless, that's what it's called. And the federales didn't like the idea that the locals were going in there and dragging out dead wood because they could use the wood, and besides the wood, of course, is a really neat way to start a magnificent forest fire and feed it. And so that uh, uh, really got the Forest Service uh, uh, knickers twisted, and... Uh, <laughs> Mr. House said kind of the same thing that Brad Rogers said. You do, you know, you bother any of my folks in that, in that forest as they're lugging out wood, and I'll arrest you. And I don't think he had quite the same feedback from Washington, but they backed off. And so the wood was taken out, and some of the fires that occurred after that were somewhat diminished in their impact precisely because of that. So... That's what the sheriff can do. They can save lives even when their gun's in their holster. 
Uh, it's, it's a pretty neat job you all have. So please keep doing it. We're behind you. This is former Sheriff Richard Mack. Thank you so much for watching these timely speakers documenting solutions for modern day heroes. This movement cannot be successful without the support of the American people. That's where you come in. These conference videos prove that the work we are doing is absolutely making a difference. It is the solution. Donate today at CSPOA.org. Become a member of the CSPOA and strengthen our voice and stand with us for peace and liberty.